Thank you all for coming out. It's, uh, it's great to see you all. And first off, I just want to say thank you for, uh, th listen, we, we are now at the 19 month mark. We got in this race April 8th of 2021. And uh, there's a piece of this story that uh, is still to uh, be told. There's over 1.4 million election day votes that are still out. So there's this, it's going to be a little frustrating for the members of the media who didn't want us uh, ever to be in contention here in New York. Uh, we, we, I'm sure NBC was pretty excited about trying to call this race quickly. So uh, you know, at one point, yeah, the, the, the race says that we were down 30 something and then it became 20 something and then it's 15 and now it's under 10. Uh, we have been crushing the election day vote all across the entire state. And uh, as so so what's going to happen is that over the course of uh, these next couple of hours, you're going to see the race continue to get closer and closer and closer and closer. Uh, th this includes, by the way, uh, on Long Island, you're going to see a massive victory coming out of Long Island, which will also be closing the gap. You'll also see all sorts of election day votes coming in from all across the rest of the state uh, in areas that we have been doing great all day. So that's a little bit of uh, the recap of where we're at. Obviously, we'd love to uh, be out here when all the votes uh, had been casted, uh, have been cast, but uh, that's where we're at. There's over 1.4 million election day votes. And I want to say, uh, use this opportunity to, to say thank you so much uh, to all of you, the support all along the way. I want to thank our, our campaign team, led by our campaign manager, Eric Amidon. Eric, you did a great job. The entire campaign staff, all of our volunteers. I can say happy birthday to my mother. Today is her birthday. Happy birthday. I want to say thank you to uh, my running mate, and uh, she has been amazing on the trail, running to be our state's next Lieutenant Governor, Allison Esposito. And all of the, uh, all, all the help, and it came from so many different walks of life, 62 counties. Uh, we had support coming in from Republicans and Democrats and independents. We all united as New Yorkers because we were committed to saving our state. And you poured your, your heart and soul into this uh, entire effort. You were committed with uh, a, a love for New York. I mean, the reality is, is that New York is leading the entire nation in out-migration, and New Yorkers are hitting their breaking point. And we all understood why that was, and we want New Yorkers to have safe streets and safe subways. We shouldn't be passing pro-criminal laws like cashless bail. There are rogue district attorneys like Alvin Bragg who should be removed. We should reverse the state's ban on the safe extraction of natural gas and approve new pipeline applications. We shouldn't have seen all these COVID vaccine mandates where people are getting fired for what should be a personal decision of whether or not to get the shot. So listen, it's, uh, it's been a battle where we've been focused on ideals. We've been bringing our message without apology or regret. Uh, we came to this with uh, passion to have a, a debate of ideas for a better direction for New York, and we're still totally uh, committed towards seeing it through uh, for the 1.4 million election day voters who have not yet had their vote ca cast and counted. 
we hope that uh, as these results come in, that uh, we'll be able to prevail. But we wanted to come out now. Uh, while the night is still a bit young, I, I was able to wish a happy birthday maybe, was it just before midnight? I was able to get the happy birthday in right around midnight. My mother's birthday was yesterday, ended five minutes ago. I also want to say a, a very heartfelt thank you to uh, my wife, Diana, our daughters, Michaela and Ariana. I can't, it, it's impossible to do this without family. If, if you want to step up into the arena and serve, uh, you need that support at home. Uh, and there's a lot of time that is spent away. You're traveling the entire state and Diana was, you know, holding it down at, at home and taking care of these girls. Uh, this family, this family has been all in. Uh, this was a decision that we made together as a family to make this run. And I just want to say thank you so much to uh, Diana and Michaela and Ariana for your, all of your love and support every step of the way. And thank you to all of you for everything. It's meant so much to me over the course of the last 19 months. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do. The first step is watching all these votes come in over the course of these next couple of hours, especially all over Long Island. Uh, these are election day votes that paint in New York red. And Enjoy the, the open bar and enjoy watching the results because what you're about to see is that this will continue to get closer and closer and closer and closer as the night goes on. Thank you all.